Okay, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Tommy. I'm the OM of uh, Yumin Primary School. So today I'm going to show you how to do a self swap. Okay, using the standard Q um, kits that are being issued to the school staff and uh, some of the the citizens that's already received this. Okay, so I'm going to show you what what we have inside. Okay. Okay, so you get a soft stick, uh, the tube of solution, the cap to cap the solution, and the tester uh, indicator. Okay, so very simply, what we do is we try to secure the tube. So over here, I actually have a little uh, clip to put it so that we secure it, All right? And very simply, you go to the back. Okay, this is where the swap head is. You go to the back of your package, and you simply just rub a little, and you should see the little opening for you to pull the swap package out. Uh, do not pull everything out because later you're going to dispose and put it back in there again, so you don't throw anywhere else and contaminate stuff. Um, once you're ready. Pull your mask down, just exposing your nose. Alright, the guide here is that you. I, I hear a lot of uh, queries about, you know, where's 2.5 cm? Do you have to mark it? Do it here? Is this here or where else? Uh, my guide is you just make sure your cotton bud goes into your nose and tour around the inner walls of your nose, should be good enough. Alright, uh, also, if possible, if you think you are, might be uncomfortable, just hold your breath. Okay, ready? Here goes. One nostril, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next nostril. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then try not to let your cotton bud touch any part of your shirt, the table. Do not leave this on the table, okay? Got to hold on to this. And then use the other hand. You open the solution and then you put it in. You don't just put it in and then that's it. Um, you put it in, squeeze the bottom, and turn for about five sorry, 10 seconds. Right? Twirl it, make sure you squeeze the cotton bud tip. All right, once you're done, you can place it back into the holder and discard this. So just put it back where it came out from. Next, close the cap. Okay, it should pointing this tip is out. Huh? Don't turn the other way. There's no way you can close it anyway. So point up and then give it a little shake. It, it won't just spill out like that if you don't squeeze. So it's quite safe. Next, get this open. All right, and here's your indicator. Okay, there's also a little silica gel. Uh, they will indicate that if there are some yellow dots you can see, it's, it's good to go. If it turns like green or something, then it is not so good. Right. Okay. So, we are ready to do the test. So, you see the little uh, round uh, portion here? This is where you drip. Okay, so you put four drips into it. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's quite good. And then now we wait. So we have to set a timer. Timer is set to 15 minutes. Uh, usually by the 10 minute mark, you should see the line clearly. I'm going to show you how the liquid actually flows. So you'll flow all the way through to your T line and your C line. Okay. If the T line appear to have uh, be visible, then it is not so good. All right, you want to see the line goes to C, okay? So as we wait, usually about the first couple of minutes, you should be able to see some results appearing. Okay, so 
Um, it's about 10 minutes after I did the test and dripping onto the indicator. I just want to show you how it looks like. So this is what you want to see, okay? This one is what you want to see. You want to make sure it is at the C line, okay? Not the T line. If you see the T line, then you better be worried, okay? So if you're at the C, you're good, all right? If you are only, you only see one line at T, means it's invalid, then you have to do another one. If you get too invalid, you are also advised to go and see uh, uh, a doctor and get yourself uh, with the PCR swap. That one will be a bit deeper in. Okay? If you see both C and T line, uh, you confirm have to go and get your PCR swap. All right? uh, they were saying about 80% you get uh, ART positive, you'll get a PCR positive. All right? So some also ask, what do we do with all this after you are done? Um, you actually just have to discard it into uh, a bag or something. Alright, after you're done, you can throw them all away, including the tube, I think. And you can actually tie it, and then you can discard it away. Alright, so it's, it's really very simple, and it's also proven good that if we get tested early, we will be able to uh, seek help when we require to. Alright, so everybody stay safe, and please take care.